let's see a question from linear differential equation with constant coefficient uh, we need to solve this equation for solving this equation we can easily find the complementary function but in rhs which is your q here is uh, x times cos x so for this we have a rule uh, this is rule 5 in continuation with four rules which i have discussed in a video link is in the comment box so uh, this is rule number 5 and let's see uh, first uh, the concept that what exactly is rule number 5 now the equation linear differential equation with constant coefficient looks something like this equals to q now in case q is x into v where v is a function of x function of x most probably other than e power ax because if v will be e power x we can usually uh, uh, easily use the rules which we have studied previously which is for q equals to e power ax into some function of x, uh, x. so this is also a function of x but let's uh, know this rule further now what we do in this case the particular integral in this particular case is given by 1 upon f of d x v okay now formula is something like this x minus derivative of this denominator which is f dash d divided by this denominator itself 1 upon f d will be operating on v on okay so this is uh, the basic uh, setup for this rule number 5 so let's solve this question using this uh, rule so first of all i am converting this into an auxiliary equation so i will get m square plus 2m plus 1 equals to 0 this is m plus 1 the whole square equals to 0 from here i will be getting two equal roots as m equals to minus 1 and minus 1 i can easily write the complementary function because these two are equal root so c1 with c2 i will have x combinedly multiplied by e power a mx so e power minus x okay complementary function is done coming to the particular integral so in particular integral i have rhs equals to x cos x particular integral is always calculated from the rhs so rhs is x cos x so 1 upon f of d into x cos x so what i will do x minus f of d what is f of d f of d is d square plus 2d plus 1 so f of d here is d square plus 2d plus 1 what this rule says differentiate this f of d so you will get 2d plus 2 divided by this f of d itself so d square plus 2d plus 1 1 upon f of d so 1 upon d square plus 2d plus 1 operating on v v here is cos x because I have x into v, so v is ultimately cos x. So, uh, what we will do is first solve this and then multiply with this. So, x minus 2d plus 2 divided by d square plus 2d plus 1. Now, whenever you have cos ax or sin ax, what you do? replace d square by minus of a square so here cos ax so a is 1 so i will replace d square by minus of 1 square which is uh, again minus 1 only so 1 upon minus 1 plus 2d plus 1 operating on cos x so this is x minus 2d plus 2 this is for whole divided by d square plus 2d plus 1 and minus plus got cancelled now 
again we want d square so multiply and divide by 2 uh, sorry d so you will get 2d square now if i replace d square by minus 1 i will get minus 2 in the denominator which i can write as minus 1 by 2 and i will be left with d of cos x okay now d of cos x is nothing but d by dx of cos x and you all know that derivative of cos x is minus sin x so x minus 2d plus 2 divided by d square plus 2d plus 1 and this we are getting is minus sin x into minus so sin x divided by 2 now multiply this inside so you will get x sin x by 2 as a first term particular integral we are calculating first term we have got x sin x divided by 2 what about second term in second term if i multiply by 2 i take 2 common from numerator so 2 common d plus 1 this 2 gets cancelled so only d plus 1 is left in numerator so minus of d plus 1 denominator remains as it is and sin x by 2 sin x sorry because 2 i have cancelled now particular integral is x sin x by 2 now either you use the rule for sin x first or you uh, differentiate first that's your choice i am using the rule for sin first so again sin x a is 1 so a square is 1 square and minus sin so minus 1 in place of d square so i will get uh, d plus 1 here minus 1 plus 2d plus 1 and sin x so this gets cancelled particular integral is x sin x divided by 2 minus of d plus 1 divided by 2d and this operating on sin x okay fine enough now you can continue multiplying by d to make it d square but uh, no uh, 1 upon d is same as integral so i am doing the integral first so particular integral is x sin x divided by 2 minus 1 by 2 out d plus 1 out and 1 upon d is basically integral so integral of sin x dx so particular integral is x sin x divided by 2 minus 1 by 2 d plus 1 integration of sin x is minus cos x so minus cos x here okay now uh, continuing with our calculation this is x sin x by 2 now minus 1 by 2 d of minus cos x uh, also i can uh, do one thing write here plus d of cos x so derivative of cos x which is minus sin x 1 into cos x that will give you cos x sorry 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 d of cos x that means d by dx of cos x that is minus sin x okay so minus of sin x so let's just omit this step so particular integral is x sin x divided by 2 minus minus so plus 1 by 2 I will get d of cos x plus cos x. So this we are getting as x sin x divided by 2 plus uh, this will be minus sin x divided by 2. So let's just write this minus sin x. And here you will get cos x divided by 2. Fine. So this is your particular integral. And somewhere around here we had our complementary function. So y equals to cf plus pi gives cf was c1 plus c2 x multiplied by e power minus x. And uh, as far as our pi is concerned 
we have uh, we can take 1 by 2 common x sin x minus sin x plus cos x so this gives our final answer for this question let's look at this once again a very very easy one if you know rule 5 till rule 5 we have discussed in a separate video do watch that out if you have any sort of problem and we'll be coming with rule number 6 in next few videos